Welcome to part two of adding chatbots to the s hana Fiori Launchpad. This time we're going to focus on the actual chatbot and how it can retrieve and display information from the s hana system. We could have easily done this against an s hana cloud system by creating a communication arrangement and a slightly different destination. If you're interested in that, feel free to leave a comment and I can describe that some more. Okay, let's summarize what we need to do. We need to use the cloud connector to expose our internal system to BTP. In BTP, we need to create a destination saying that we want to point to that internal system. Then in the chatbot in SAP Conversational AI, we need to create uh, a reference to that destination saying we want to use it. And then, of course, we need to create some actions that make API calls using that destination to retrieve data and, and post a sales order. And when we post that sales order, we have to overcome the CSRF issue. So let's start. The first thing we have here is the cloud connector. So we have uh, connected to a sub-account. So we just needed to have the correct permissions on that sub-account and we connected. Then we created a uh, virtual mapping. So we said we want to connect to a specific internal host and we gave it a virtual host name. And then of course we had to say what resources uh, we want from that uh, system. So for the moment we just have a slash and we say we would just want every resource from that system. That is very, very simple. We can also test the connection uh, and everything is working. And that's what we did for the uh, cloud connector. The next thing we did is we went to BTP and we created a destination. And the destination also takes two minutes to do. And you just specify the virtual host that we created and we log in with a username. I used my log name, my user, but usually you'd use a technical user or you could set a principal propagation, which is a little bit more complicated. And that's all we did here. Then we're in our chatbot. And in the chatbot, we have to specify that we want to use the destination. So if we just use the chatbot now, we can say that we want to create a sales order and give the name of a um, of a business partner. But if we look in the debugger, we'll see that the API didn't work because we don't have a system alias specified. So that's what we have to do now. So we go to the settings and in the system alias, we see that there's a system alias already called base URL. That's because we imported this project but usually we'll have to specify and enable the system aliases and then create a system alias. So since we already have the base URL, we can go to the environments and go to the version that we have. We only have one and go to the settings for that environment. And we see that the system alias is there, but we say for that system alias, we want to define a destination. And then we select the destination for our s for hana system. And now we can go use the chatbot and say that we want to create a sales order. And we can add the business partner. And it will confirm it. Now we confirm it. Now we see the, um, the sales area that we want that, that we can pick from. So we pick that. And now we have to select a product. We just display some random products. We select one and now we have to specify the quantity. And that's all we need to do. We get a confirmation screen. Yes, we want to create the sales order. We say yes. And it creates the sales order behind the scenes and gives us a notification. Now I, uh, for debugging purposes, I printed out the entire response, but you see below it that it says that the new sales order was created. We have a link to that sales order. And if we press the link, we can see the sales order in the Fury Launchpad. 
Now let's take a look at actually what we did in the chatbot. So the first example will be about getting data. So you see that we have an API um, service call. And in this service call, we can specify the system alias that we want to use and indirectly the destination and then provide the rest of the API. And that will provide um, data from the S4HANA system back. A slightly more complicated case is our post request where we actually create the sales, or the sales order. And before we do that, we have to do a GET request. In this case, we do it against the metadata. So we don't do any real, don't do any real API call. And we request the CSFR, the CSRF token. And then in our post call, we provide the token as well as the cookie that's required so that we can make a post call. Now that we finished the chatbot, we can actually put it inside the Fiori Launchpad. So we go to the Connect tab, and we create a channel. And this is extremely easy. We'll say we'll authenticate with SSO, and we have an application ID. We'll give our chatbot a name. We'll call it s 4 header Chatbot. And we will give the application ID. Create. And now all we need to do is to go back to the Fury Launchpad, refresh, and we can go back to the chatbots. Now, the chatbot that we used for testing is still there, but we get this little icon, and we can click on it, and it'll have all the chatbots that we can see. Our old one, and now the new one that we created. So we can click on it. And we can say we want to create a sales order. And you can see that it starts the process. I hope you enjoyed that video on adding chatbots to the S4HANA Fiori Launchpad. Remember that you can do this for S4HANA Cloud just as easily or nearly as easily by creating a communication arrangement and a slightly different destination. And again, if you're interested in that, feel free to leave a comment. Thanks.